Our team coverage turns down to local 10 News reporter Leanne Morahome. And she is live outside the high school. Judge Jackson attended in Pinecrest. I am sure this is a very exciting day. Absolutely. Now Justice Jackson, right? Katanji Brown Jackson was a student here at Miami Palmetto Senior High School. We've come to the school several times as we've hit these sort of milestones in her journey to the bench. So we wanted to take a look back not only at what some of the students have said and done uh, in response to all of this, but also some of the staff and a couple of pretty high profile students that knew her back when she was in high school and talked about just what an incredible speech and debate member she was. It is an honor, the honor of a lifetime. Katanji Brown Jackson's historic journey to the Supreme Court began right here in South Florida as a student at Palmetto Senior High. The fact that she grew up in Miami and got her education here is really very exciting for us. Earlier this year, students at the school gathered for a pep rally celebrating her confirmation. Katanji Brown Jackson was a standout member of the debate team as some of her former classmates were called to Local 10 earlier this year. Katanji was an absolutely gifted speaker. Surreal that such a close friend is in this position. All of us who did high school debate knew and respected Katanji Brown. Uh, and some of us feared her because we knew that if we ever competed with her, we would come out with a big L because she was the superstar in high school debate in Miami-Dade County. Her success becoming a source of inspiration for current students. I'm happy that black women are starting to be seen. As well as professionals who gathered to watch her confirmation hearings. Her family still has roots firmly planted here in South Florida. Very proud of Katanji. And that, of course, was her mom. Her family still living just a few minutes from the campus here at Miami Palmetto, where, take a look, there's still this sign that's been posted ever since she was first confirmed. It's still proudly posted outside of the campus. This is a fence that surrounds uh, the field and the perimeter of the school. No doubt such an incredible source of pride. One of their famous alumni now in this incredible position, as you heard there, Supreme Court Justice. We're live in Pinecrest. I'm Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. And Leanne, you mentioned uh, th in such a prominent position and in this prominent position, perhaps for decades, as she is a very young woman, only in her 50s. Absolutely. We know for many of these justices, these are well, these are lifetime appointments, right? There's no term limit for being a Supreme Court justice, something that's actually being debated as we speak. A lot of uh, lawmakers and things having opinions about about that. But you're right. She is only in her 50s. She is young and she will spend probably many decades on the Supreme Court as long as she's in a wonderful health and chooses to be in that position. And so we could be seeing, uh, uh, we're looking forward to seeing what kind of opinions uh, she may be responsible for. Of course, she uh, is not expected to change the balance of the Supreme Court. Um, Justice Breyer leaning uh, towards the liberal side of the justices. She's expected to sort of keep that up. So that right now the uh, Supreme Court is mainly conservative and so there's no change of uh, a balance really on the court expected uh, with this move, but no doubt this is extremely historic and everyone that I've spoken to over the last few months as this was first just being talked about, she was on the short list, then we went to being nominated and of course the confirmation hearings, the confirmation and now where we are today with her historic swearing in, people have just been so excited along the way uh, as we mentioned, not only people who knew her personally and saw her as this sort of standout classmate who was doing incredible things as a teenager. You know, one of those kids that you look at and you say, they're gonna go places. That's exactly how people described her who knew her back when she was a young woman. And now we have students who are in uh, basically what that position was looking on and saying, wow, you know, I'm going to a public school. I'm going to Palmetto Senior High. I have aspirations of, you know, going into law and doing big things. If she can do it, I can do it too. So inspirational for so many people and such a tremendous source of pride for the community.